as I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I am doing good myself. I hope everyone is keeping y'all hands washed, sanitized, wearing y'all face mask, and basically staying out of the way. Before we jump into this reaction video, just let me say, just in case your post notifications is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I do ask that you hop in your whip, hop in your hoop ride, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, take that cruise on over because I do have them reaction videos up loaded i'll see y'all let's check that notification bell make sure your notification bell is set for all or however you choose to have it set i'll see y'all let's check that subscribe or make sure it's set for subscribed and not subscribe because y'all already know at the end of the day do you really know anyways as i always say my thoughts is my thoughts and my yeah you already know the rest too anyways y'all let's jump into this reaction so and today, I want to talk about my jazzy life. And y'all already know, I be coming out here with these marathons. You know what I'm saying? I don't curl. You know, if you're going to get on here and you're going to talk, then shit, guess what? I can come back and talk about it. Yeah, and that's on everything. So what I want to talk about, I want to talk about the live that they did where her and Chris was playing dominoes. She titled that live late night visit she's still pulling this shit like he don't stay there and i be wanting to say girl who the hell do you think <laughs> do you think we stuck on stupid or something we know that man stay there shit <laughs> him and his damn hat <laughs> so anyway they was playing domino so she titled it late night visit i want to know how the hell he got there because my jazz like if this man can't help you do shit, which, which means nothing, he can't help you buy groceries, he can't help you, he, he can't help you pay a bill, he can't help you do shit, he can't even get you some water, or, you know, y'all remember when she was doing that Q&A and she was talking about she wanted some water, how she was thirsty, he didn't even want to get up and get her something to drink, so anyway, <laughs> she want to say... That he don't stay there. Hmm. Late night visit. But if we know that he can't do shit for you, and that's what I was basically saying. He can't do shit for you. How the hell is he getting over there at night? Because hmm. see, what we see is he be driving your truck. He be driving your truck. He be cooking your food. You know what I'm saying? He be laying up in your bed. You know what I'm saying? He be running your AC. He be playing his game on your TV. Well, shit, it's broke now. That's probably why he probably ain't there that much because he ain't got shit to do. Yeah, so better yet, I got to get on here and start dry begging because I got to get me a TV. My TV is going to keep him. If we ain't got no TV for him to play the game on, Girl, he ain't going to be satisfied. I'm just saying, though. Mm -hmm. and that's real talk. Anyway, I mean, I don't get it. If he, if if his hats can stay there, yeah. You telling me he not staying there? <laughs> but he got his hats living there? But he, he staying somewhere else. Hmm. Well, when we going to get to see his place? When he going to take you over there and barbecue and cook for you in his kitchen? You know what I'm saying? When can your kids go over there and, you know, lay their heads and spend a night like his kids can do at your house? And he get up in the morning and cook breakfast for y'all. I'm just saying, since he don't stay there, hell, where the hell do he stay? Hmm. Seem like he got a lot of baggage to me to have his own shit. Hmm. Well, my jazzy life, I'm going to tell you first, you can stop lying now because, see, you come back in your other video and you saying they took your stamps away and this and that. Well, shit, they probably did because they know. Yeah, when we watch these videos, we know that he stays there. Hmm. So even though you try to, you know, do the little skits, talk on the phone, like, you know, like don't nobody know. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You go overboard with shit, you know? If he don't stay there, just don't say shit about it. Just say it the first time. Like, hey, he don't stay here. He just come over here. But when you keep trying to, you know, persuade the people that he don't stay there, that's how we know. Just like when you did that fake-ass skit. Where the hell he coming from? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that's not what I want to talk about. But I did see that title. 
for his late night visit. Like, girl, and he up there with that hoodie on like shit. Like, he just left and came over there. If you don't, if you don't go sit down, because we know you got that red shirt on up under there, better yet, maybe a black shirt or a gray shirt, okay? Yeah, it probably got your little slides on up under the table, talking about like you just came over there. Where the hell you come from then? Mm -hmm. Um, But that ain't what I want to talk about, y'all. If y'all watched that live, you know, there was... There was a certain point in the live that caught my eye, okay? And y'all know I come on here all the time and I tell y'all about this Chris dude. I don't push shit past him, okay? Even though you can get on here in this in, in, in the vlog miss intro with a slim kids. I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? You can fake it. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people fake it for the camera. You know, they put on some fake shit all the time. But when you turn it off, the real you was out there. And, and when I say the real you, yeah, the real true you, the one that jazz like to hide, the one that jazz like to, like to, you know, not bring forward to everybody. She want everybody to believe that you are a good person and that you are good with the kids. Maybe. But see, in my eyes, I see different. You know what I'm saying? Even though you smile, I see through your smile. Even though you talk good shit, I see through your good shit when you talk. And now I know it's a bunch of bullshit. So when you can sit there and you talk about disciplined kids and how even this, you keep saying the same shit. But did you not realize, even though you say that you don't discipline your kids and you don't discipline her kids, why the hell you 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 grab Aiden by his arm like that? You get what I'm saying? Why the hell you try to put him in line or better yet, let's say redirect, you know, when the mama is right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So also, y'all, what I want to say, if y'all noticed in that live, if y'all didn't notice, go back. If y'all noticed, put it in the comments down below. Kaylin wanted some water. Hmm. Y'all just on the lie. If she want to get a little water, she can get a little water. Did y'all catch the look? Sometimes you don't have to say shit. It's just over your face. You know? Hmm. He looked disgusted. I seen him shaking his head at her like, don't come out or no. But she went to her mama. Yeah, her mama, Jazz, anyway. And ask her for some water. And did go back if y'all didn't. And, and catch the way he looked. Then he looked at the camera. And then he took a deep breath. Like, what you breathing for? Because my daughter wants some water? I want to say, Chris, you can play like you like these kids. But 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 something has changed for us, Kaylin, okay? We know that for a fact. Something has changed for us, Aiden, okay? You can you can be kissing and hugging on Ava and Amaya and holding them. See, I'm going to tell you what's a no-no, though, and, and this for Jazz, too. You know, I'm not going to have my little girls, okay, or my baby girl sitting on no random, random lap. You get what I'm saying? Because, see, that's a no-no. It's one thing if you want to be cool with the kids and play with the kids and act like you, you know, you love them and all about the kids. But even though we know that shit is fake. But my my girls ain't going to be sitting in your lap. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be kissing on my girls. But, see, we talked about this before, y'all. Some shit you just don't do, and that's where you set up boundaries. But when you don't set boundaries and you just have everything open, that's how a lot of shit happened. Just like when this guy pulled Aiden by his arm. Also, when Kaylin asking for some water, you look like you disgusted. You look like somebody done spoiled your day. You look like somebody done said some shit out of line to you when all the girl wanted was some water. And first of all, she wasn't even talking to you. She was talking to Jazz. And then you looked at Jazz like what? Was she in the wrong for telling her, yeah, she can get some water? Yeah, I noticed that shit. I peeped that shit. Because as I tell y'all all the time, I don't know what's up with this little dude, her. I don't know if he is from the penitentiary or where the hell he from. 
something ain't right about him. And when I had a few people come in my comments and they said the same shit that I said, that I said, and also that I was thinking, like, hmm, he come on and fake with a laugh, but something ain't right about you. Not at all. Hmm. You act like you for the kids. But your face expression told everything. How can he how can he be disgusted or even look disgusted because she wanted to come out and get some water? Is it because you didn't want no kids to be in that live because this is extra jazz and Chris channel? Or I mean, how how does this work? You know? Hmm. Or was it because it was supposed to be a late night visit, which means the kids were supposed to be sleep and you were supposed to come over when the kids were sleep? I want to know how the hell this shit work. Because I, I, I'm, I'm confused with all these, the, the mind games and shit. But I'm going to tell you, Jazz, you better watch your kids and you better watch this man. Because I'm going to tell you, if he can't help you do shit, Shit, he don't he don't even need to be playing like a, a a father figure or a role model or somebody to redirect my kids. He shouldn't be doing shit. If you can't help me do shit in my household, what the hell is you here for? Mm hmm. Hmm. Cause everything you doing right now is out the way, bending over backwards, stretching for his ass, building a channel really for him. It's probably gonna be his income, or she probably gonna give the the money to him. Hmm. Ain't no way I be in a relationship with a man, y'all, and and I'm losing. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting shit taken away. From my kids, you know, even though I am doing YouTube, even though I do have these different channels, but if I was doing good before he got here and all of a sudden it's a lot of, it's a lot of shit going on now and my kids is suffering. Yeah, them kids is suffering because for one, they got to be stuck in a room all the damn time. For two, you feed them breakfast you f and, and you put them back in the room, back in the bed. Mm. They can't really run around the house and play and have that freedom like they had before. Everybody is tiptoeing. Everybody is, you know, uncomfortable in their own comfort zone. Hmm. Damn. And better yet, shit, I'm just a kid. Where this guy come from? How can this guy put me in the room and make me sit down? How can this guy pull my arm and tell me, no, I can't have no more? How can he? Shit, how can he? So, what I'm going to wait for, because I know it's coming, is she is going to come back, y'all, and she is going to try to explain that or say it wasn't like that or Chris loves my kids. Y'all are just trying to start some shit. Better yet, we're jealous. Jealous of what? Because you got a man? Shit. Anybody can go get a man. Because I guess your, your girl didn't let you know that they are free and it don't cost you nothing, okay? Anybody can get a man. It all depends on what type of man you want. If you want somebody that 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 you got to take care of or you want somebody that, that can help you and make you level up, you know what I'm saying, and work with you, help you build like a team, you know what I'm saying, look out for you. Or is it just somebody that, hey, we can play in a bedroom and, hey, yeah, we could talk about marriage, we could talk about a baby. Yeah, baby. My jazz life. I want to know, why is it so important to have a baby all of a sudden when at the end of the day, you're struggling? Hmm. Yeah. If you rely on food stamps to feed your kids and you feel out the way or you feel out of the ordinary because you got to go in your pockets with your own money and use your money to buy food to feed your household. You don't need no more babies because it's nobody else's job to take care of your kids. Not your mama, not your subscribers, not the not the government, you know, better yet the state or however you want to call it or put it. It's nobody's job to take care of your babies and your kids but you. And see what you do on YouTube, you come on these YouTube streets. Having your subs do shit for you that, hey. It's not their responsibility.
It's not their responsibility when you can't do already, but you want to sit here and continue to talk about having a baby. Do y'all think that shit is cute? Do you think it's cute that you can't even handle the four kids that you got by your damn self? And you met this guy and all of a sudden you want to have a baby again? Hmm. You don't even give it time to see if he really, really want to be with you. You don't even give it time to see if the shit that y'all are in right now, and I call it the shit because it is the shit, going to really work out for you. You don't even do that. I'm going to tell you. Everybody is not made to be a father, okay? And sometimes you got to go deep in a background to see just like now. Hmm. Do he take care of his kids? Why he not with his kids? What happened? I want to know all that. You get what I'm saying? Before I even think about having a baby with you. Yeah, the looks ain't going to make me want to have a baby with you. It's not. Just because I'm happy to have a man, it's not going to make me want to have a baby with you neither. The way you take care of shit and you do shit and you provide and you help me with shit, maybe so. Maybe the how I love and I bond and our relationship is and our growth, maybe so. But when you have somebody living in on you and your kids and ain't doing shit, and when you fall short, they can't give a hand, I don't need no baby by you. I don't need shit by you, okay? Better yet, I don't even need you living in my house. Because I can do bad by myself with the four of my kids. And my kids can be normal in their own comfort zone and not have to tiptoe around or, or scared that they might get in trouble by you, Chris, Zaddy, Bay, Boo. Yeah, that way. Anyways, y'all, I just wanted to talk about that because I noticed his face, a face expression. Y'all know how sometimes people don't even have to say shit, but it be wrote all over their face, on their face, like shit. Okay, and yeah, that's what I got from him. He didn't like it that Kaylin came out anyway, even though he was shaking his head, telling her no. She came out anyway and asked Jazz for some water and Jazz said, go ahead. It was all over his face. He was disgusted. Maybe if he wasn't on live, he probably would have had some shit to say. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. If y'all like this video, let's throw those th th thumbs up. And if y'all have not, I ask y'all do subscribe. Because it's la la. Peace.